All right, people. Welcome back. Half fast. Seven the one nine. I'm going to be doing a battery install on this car. Just gotta find it. I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's under here. Nope, that looks like a computer. Hmm. That's a headlight. Is this the battery? A small little battery. Hmm. I don't know. Just kidding. Anyway, gotta do the battery. It's under the seat, under here, under the driver's seat. If you don't know where it's at, let me take this mat out here. Get a lot of this dirt. Just fill up screws on there. Anyway, so what we gotta do here is take these little covers off. Oh, oh. They just snap off. There's one. That one, I don't think it'll snap down all the way. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's a clip. And a dime. I found a dime. I'm rich. Anywho, and yeah, I gotta move some stuff back here and fold that back seat up. So basically, you just take these two, I think they're uh, M10 triple square uh, bolts off, and then the seat should just fold back or roll back. This is the battery. It's battery. I mean, it feels like it's got bulging on the side. And then this terminal. You guys tell me, does that terminal look used to you? Usually they have a red cap on it. This side seems a little bulged. But we have this, this cap on here. That side and that side looks like it's used too, but... Um, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know how that is. Um, it does have a manufacturer date of, it says shipped November 2019, L19. I don't know what that stands for. L19. Maybe L is the month, which is November. 19 is the year. Um, but anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a little voltmeter. I'm going to check it out. And that's what the guy said. The guy said, oh, well, it's not used because this was on there. But as you can see, you can take that right off. And that's what I told him. And he's stupid. Whatever. So, let me test it. Let me check it out. And uh, whatever. I got a receipt. I bought it. Four year warranty. Something happens. I'll bring the stupid thing back. I just really hate. I really hate people that are just dumb. And don't actually see what you see. The guy couldn't even read the stupid numbers. It's like well why do you work here? Go get some glasses or something. But whatever. Anyway. Let's uh, get my Harbor Freight tester out. Ouch. Um, let's go direct current, right? DC, let's turn this thing on. Um, somehow I'll put that one there. Show you guys, I got that one there. 12.6 volts. So, seems to be all right. So, let me, uh, I gotta clean out some of this crap over here. 
and then I'll fold this seat up, clean up some of that, and take it apart. I'll be back. I'll be back in the video. All right, guys. So let me just show you real quick. It's pretty pretty easy, I think. So you got these bolts. They're an M12 triple square, which is that. Looks like a Torx, but a lot more. So like I said, these are on there. Pop those off. Got one bolt there. They're kind of tight bolts. Um, seem like they got some Loctite on them. Get a bolt here, a bolt there. After you get those bolts, move the seat all the way forward. All the way forward, I think. It's all the way up. Might not be able to go all the way forward due to the steering wheel. So, and you have these caps here. These little caps right here. You pull these off somehow. You just come straight back with them. Okay. So there's one and there's the other side. It's the right and the left. Then you're gonna need yourself a T25. Torques. Um, to get this out. So this goes right here. So while you're back here, take these out with that Torx. Which one is where it's at? Um, yeah, I might have lost it. Um, I'll find it. Oh, there it is. So T25, a little screw right there. It goes into there. You can pull this carpet up, whatever you want to do. There's a, a latch right there. So while you're back here, undo that latch right there. There's another latch. There's another latch right there. Undo that latch. Okay, it's undone, it's undone. Box loose. Leave the tools back there. Now let me see. A lot of people take these back bolts off, but you're not supposed to because if you can see right here, there's your hinge point. So the seat will hinge back. So let me just get it to clear real quick. Uh, might do it, yeah. So there you go. Move the seat forward. So the more you move it forward, and the more the more you lean it back or lean it forward, I guess you could say, the better it is. So the Pringles or a thing I dropped, 25 cent right here. Loaded now. Almost paid for the burrito or uh, the battery, not burrito. Um, there's a pin I dropped. There's another dime I didn't drop. Is that? I don't know what that's for. But some uh, chips that I didn't drop. So anyway, pop this one off. Pop this one off. Get the whole battery box off or cover. Set that right there. Battery battery looks pretty good actually. It's like a newer battery. Um, MLA made in Germany. So I got a 10 millimeter here. Basically, you just take this 10 millimeter. Do that one. Um, and then there's one right there that you have to undo, which I think I'll need an extension maybe. Maybe this one will come off. Maybe it won't. 
So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to take a jump box, if you guys are still with me, and I'm gonna put jump box on here so that I have 12 volts. Um, I'm not sure if this car does uh, like resets, if the battery is dead or what, but I'm gonna keep a constant 12 volt in there so that uh, I can assure that I do have a constant 12 volts. When you put these battery boxes in, just put them down nice and easy. I'm gonna put negative on that post right there. Negative there. And we'll take the positive and put it on the positive terminal there. And we'll turn it on. And we're a little jello. But it should be good. It should be 12 volts enough to get the battery out. So what I'm gonna do is loosen these. Oh, we got my pain to get to. Probably should use a wrench. off we'll put it out of the way so that is negative and that's positive let's check the battery first yeah positive negative I don't know if you saw that or not negative positive so we got positive and negative over there sorry for all the heavy breathing is what it is are what it are. This is a vent tube to vent gases out of the car. So now this is the fun part. We can take that out now. Take this. Maybe tuck it somewhere. And one, two, six. Lift. Oh my gosh, this thing's heavy. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Supposedly there's something to do with that code. I don't know. This battery looks looks the same. It's got the same little bulge. Same little bulge. I'm just looking for a date. 12 volt, 520 amp, 110 amp hour. Hmm. I don't, it's made in Germany, but it's got a lot of Japanese stuff here. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing a date, so I'm assuming it's a factory battery. If you guys know how to tell the, ba the date, you guys let, let me know. Number's there. That number there. Um, all these numbers here, which are just the dangers, which is this. But, yeah, alright, let me get this battery in. Or let me check, make sure I can get everything in here. And then, drop the bolt. Don't forget to get the bolt. Right there. Green sticker. What else you got in here? Bobby pin, not mine. Obviously, a lot of hair. Okay, let me throw the other battery in real quick. Maybe I can set you guys somewhere so you guys can see this crap. see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know how it went. Something like that. 
So this was the biggest battery that they had at Pep Boys, or the biggest battery for this car. I guess you could say the size. And uh, the guy tells me that he needs me to get the width and size and diameter of the battery because they're all different sizes and this one's too big. But as you can see, it fits in there just fine. If anything, it's smaller. I think it's smaller than the other battery. But anyway. For the vulgar language. Okay, that's tight, that's tight. Take this, do the negative first, put the ground on there, put the positive on there. these sorry if you can't see what I'm doing okay okay so what we got here is we got this vent tube here there's a plug on this side and I hope I don't lose it so this vent tube has to go in there and then there's no plug back here so I'm gonna take this plug out put the plug in there and then I'll put that in so let me go grab a, a tool real quick and before I button it all up I'm gonna take that charger off and uh, I'm gonna test it see if it starts the car so hold on I'll be back all right guys make sure Make sure you guys hook your clips on back here. That one there. And this one's kind of a pain to get to. Right here. Can't even see it. Right there. Put that all back down. Put this vent. Obviously, this piece goes over that piece. Slap it in there like that. You have your screw. Every little screw and it's just plastic going into plastic which is why I'm not using not using anything crazy just using a big old half inch drive uh, <laughs> ratchet remember T25 probably don't need this stupid ratchet probably just tighten it with my hand that's about 500 foot pounds of torque right there Okay, those tools are done. Grab these chingies. Slide it in. Slide it in. Any day. Oh boy. Oh, that's why. That's why. These two tabs right here go on the bottom. Yeah. I was like, man, well, I want to go on, but that's why. And you make sure this. That snaps in there. Oh, slide it on. Lift that up. And lift it up. Hook it on right there. That's one. Kind of a pain. Kind of probably one of the worst batteries install I've ever done in my 
entire life. Same thing here, slide her on, lift her up, snap her on those. That's, that's it. That's all there is to it. Ooh, she's... Anyway, Put some tools over here. Slide the seat back. Then we'll go down and we'll fire it up. But yeah, definitely if you can, if you can, definitely put a power source to the car so that you don't have to reset stuff. I heard some people saying that they had to reset stuff and they had to take it to Audi or Volkswagen. It's the same car as the Touareg. They had to take it to Volkswagen and Audi and they had to go and reprogram or do some stupid stuff. I don't really know. Oh, she's... That's not my normal position. Sorry guys, this is going to be a long video. So... Yeah, I think I think it's it starts a lot quicker before, but I would burp, 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 burp. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna let this be it. I'm gonna button the car mats, floor stuff all back in, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put this battery in the toy hauler. I'm just gonna put it inside the toy hauler. Um, until I can get a box and a battery box big enough for that big old battery. All right, guys, thanks for sticking in. Um, if you guys like this video, like it. If not, don't hurt my feelings, none. I got nothing better to do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.